Well, ever since I found out about your sexy boudoir photography, I um, was interested in it, but I was like, oh, you know, I'll do it someday. I'm just gonna lose 10 more pounds. I'm just gonna work out first and then I'll do it. I just kind of realized it's just silly to not do something really amazing for yourself. Just so I could build my confidence back up and start feeling sexy and pretty again. I think over the last year I've um, gone through a lot of changes as far as mind and body and I thought it was a great opportunity to show off all the hard work that I've been tugging along on. I don't know, because I love my fiance. <laughs> Boudoir photography is sexy pictures for yourself or another person, or it could be and another person. Basically, women will come in and bring sexy outfits, their favorite lingerie, maybe their husband's shirt. These photos are for me, but if others care to enjoy them, that's okay too. It's just something I, I really wanted to do for me and for myself. Definitely for Adam. <laughs> what we do is we take tasteful photos with them wearing whatever these outfits are. They go home with an album that they can either keep for themselves as a keepsake forever to show off, look how hot I am. They could also give it to their fella. Boudoir shoots are supposed to be very sultry, sexy. Depending on what the client wants, it could be like out there dramatic or it could be subtle, sexy. I can spend anywhere between like 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how intricate and intense the makeup is supposed to be. And it depends on the client. Mostly like if they have lips that they want to accentuate or if they have eyes that really stand out and they have a particular hair color that makes that I just pop out. When I was growing up, I never was really good at like the makeup thing and I never really like learned how to be a girl. I was sneaking little like peeks of myself in the mirror and I was like, yes, it's looking so good. And then when I saw it at the end, I was just blown away. It was hot. If I would have shown up and done my, no my own makeup and hair, it just wouldn't, it would have taken away from the photo. So it was a huge contribution to the quality of the work. She did a great job. Uh, she was really excited to do it. So that made me excited for her to do it as well. My hair is very frizzy, it is not like this, this is a lie, it's a facade, and um, it looks really good in the pictures and right now, and my makeup looks really good, and I have fake eyelashes on and you can't even tell, because they're really natural looking. It definitely brings that added bonus to it that makes it look just that much better whenever it has good quality photography behind it. It was just amazing to just sit down and look at like all the images and all the different variety too, like the different poses. And I was like, oh my God, that's me. Like I can actually look like that. I liked it because I, did, I didn't think it was me. I was like, oh, why didn't think it was me? It looked good. One of the things that I hear the most often from women who email me or call me to ask me about photo shoots, I really think this sounds really fun, but I'm gonna have to lose 10 pounds first. And I really hate that. I was pretty nervous about how the pictures would show up, but they look really good. It was awesome. It didn't look like me. It's nice to, you know, with all the, the special lighting and the skills of Francis to be able to bring out those qualities much, much better than my self-portraits in the, the bathroom mirror. I don't think you need to lose 10 pounds. I think you're beautiful just the way that you are. I can show you how gorgeous you are, regardless of your shape, regardless of your size. I think all women are beautiful and all women can be sexy. Frances has a knack for having you embrace your features. She was fun and playful and enthusiastic, so it was a great time. She did a couple of things where it helped get like a more natural look. When people tell me to smile, I'm like, eh. <laughs> it's just hard to do like a natural smile. So when we were sitting and looking at the shots, I was like, oh, you know, I'm actually smiling with my teeth. I never do that <laughs> and it looks good. Comfortable, really comfortable. I can't wait to do another type of shoot with her. With poses that you think you'd be really like awkward, she'd get up there and show me like, this is what you're gonna do. So I wouldn't feel so terrible because everybody saw that, okay, this is what I was gonna do. So 
It was it was no no new thing. I'm gonna go to Central Market and browse the uh, fruit and produce section, and you know maybe wink at the the produce guy or guy behind the meat counter. Not really, but I'll say that. Maybe see about going to this place called Upscale. It's kind of like a 20s era cocktails kind of place that I heard about, and um, I'm trying to get some people together there. I'm not sure, I'll probably go home and relax. Maybe take some pictures of myself in the mirror. <laughs> Absolutely, I'll show them to my children and be like, look how hot your mom is, so. <laughs> They'll totally say that I'm awesomely hot because I do look really good in those pictures. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably gonna be like, wow, grandma still got it, or grandma, grandma was hot, damn. <laughs> wow. They'll ask me why I started wearing moo-moos, why I don't dress like that anymore, what happened. Uh, I think they'll be very impressed.